Hi, Tyler from Inner Fidelity here. Today we're going to talk about. We're not going to talk about headphones. <laughs> Today I'm actually announcing my retirement. This is going to be the last video you see from me on this channel. And uh, it's sort of bittersweet, that's for sure. Um, but it's time for me to retire. Um, <clears throat> I have retirement plans and I thought it was going to take me till uh, 2022 when I turned 66 and I could get full Social Security that I would retire then. I have been building a tiny home into a FedEx truck and um, that's going to be my retirement home. I'm going to sell my home and I'm going to go out and adventure and um, I thought it was going to take me seven years to build this tiny home in this truck and um, it's a big dream and I thought it was going to take a lot of work. I had to learn a lot about solar panels and composting toilets and just all manner of things. Um, but uh, it turns out that, you know, the bottom line is it's only 88 square feet and um, it only took me three years to build it. So it's done. And um, uh, I probably should give you a little tour. Let's uh, go take a look at Putt. So this is Putt. Putt is a 2005 Morgan Olsen step van with an international harvester chassis. Yeah. This is the dumpster in my house because uh, I'm currently cleaning it out to uh, sell it. So it's kind of a mess around here. But uh, welcome to Putt. I got a, uh, a window on the side there. I put that in myself. It took pretty much a year to just start from the empty box and then take all the walls out insulate them and put the window in and get back to a box again so it took a year just to insulate and get it back to a box again um, this is the uh, cabin cockpit what are you going to call it um, one of the ideas for this vehicle is that it should be stealth um, which means i can park it pretty much anywhere if a step van you know fedex van uh, is one of those things that um, is pretty innocuous. You really don't notice them. So you t park behind a tire store and uh, and a uh, uh, mattress store, and nobody will ever notice you in the back there. Anyway, let's. Uh, uh, the front is is not going to change very much. It's pretty primitive, and it's going to stay that way so that um, uh, people. Don't, when they look inside, don't think there's much here. And uh, we'll take a look inside now. So this is the cabin of Putt. Uh, I'll, I wish I had a wider angle lens so you could take it all in in one go. But uh, I'll give you a brief rundown. And um, here is the refrigerator. So I have a, a Dometic 12 volt <clears throat> refrigerator in there. Um, at the bottom down here is a 60 gallon water tank. Um, I have a manual pump sink. This is a marine grade uh, manual pump sink. Um, one of the things, uh, um, my theories on this vehicle initially is for it to be very simple so things don't things always work they don't break uh, in other words complexity is the enemy in this this part of the build eventually I'm gonna add things like ham radios and security systems and stuff like that but at the moment um, and and for this first phase it's just about having a functioning uh, livable space that is uh, totally survivable um, I have uh, drawers that I made myself all sorts of odds and ends in the drawers, uh, kitchen stuff, pots and pans, so on and so forth. Uh, up above, you'll notice we all everything has these little turnbuckles to stop things from opening up and there's little springs in there. And then I can open this cabinet and you can see I have all my food up here. I have these little strappy things that stop uh, the food from wiggling around and bashing into each other. So canned stuff, uh, pantry stuff this is the dry stores kind of thing uh, 
this is a a little bit of an interesting thing. We won't dwell on this for too long, but this is my composting toilet. But I can lift up like that. And uh, there's the toilet itself. I won't uh, bother showing you the internal working butts, but let's just say there's a separate air system. There's, it's just a five gallon bucket, basically. But uh, um, number one and number two are separated in different containers because that's the thing that really causes things to smell when you mix everything together and um, it has a separate air system down there because a composting toilet uh, produces heat and moisture and you need to vent that out um, it's not that it smells because it really doesn't smell that much uh, every time you go to the bathroom you use uh, this composting material in this bin down here and um, to cover it so it, it really isn't um, doesn't have very much odor <clears throat> uh, and then venting it out uh, totally takes care of that uh, is my bed I got a little nightstand up here a book with books and stuff a little night light um, there is storage underneath the bed so my ukuleles and winter gear and motorcycle gear and so on and so forth are in there um, this is all my clothes so you can see my, my clothes up there. Um, and then this is the electronics cabinet. Eventually the stereo, ham radio controls will be here. Um, lighting controls for out. Um, eventually there'll be an LED light system here. This is the main control panel distribution fuse box for the 12 volt DC in the system. And you can see that I've been using my soldering iron a lot on wiring it up. But there's not much in this cabinet yet. Eventually there'll be uh, computers, network server, um, Wi-Fi, repeaters, uh, cell phone, amplifier, um, ham radios as I said and security camera stuff and hard drives you know NAS drives for storing the security footage and things like that um, there uh, I do have two solar panels up on top right now and I'll eventually get more and there are two golf cart batteries underneath this seat and in this cabinet right here I can't open it very far with the seat in place but you can see the charge controller inverter and there's some fuses and whatnot down there um, so that's my electrical cabinet um, and then my dinette is uh two seats out of a mercedes van that are takeouts they were cheap it's 125 bucks for both seats but it was 150 bucks for shipping uh and a little table so i got a table to sit at and as you can see the seat here got the window right there and I can look out on the world and uh, so I have what amounts to uh, a little road boat a travel trawler land yacht if you will I think it looks like a little boat cabin all right let's get back to talking about my retirement so it's that's putt um, I think it's pretty cool. I hope you do too. Um, but it's not the only reason to retire. Uh, for the first time, I'm going to have to look at some notes because there's a lot of stuff that I want to cover. Um, you know, first I'm 62 years old, or it will be in August, and uh, my ears are going. When I was a youngster, when I was in the Coast Guard, they actually pulled me aside and asked me to be a sonar man because my hearing was so good. It was very, very good. And uh, my hearing has been, you know, quite good for my age over time. Uh, but it's definitely going south. I do have hearing tests maybe every two years. Uh, it's, it clearly gets worse every time. And, you know, at this point, though my hearing, at least in my left ear, is better than your average 62-year-old, um, it's... Uh, not good enough in my opinion in the long run it's, it's getting harder and harder for me to do the evaluations and um, so that I begin to feel like let's get some younger ears on the on the ball so that's one reason um, another is <laughs> um, I've been writing about headphones for 25 years I, I wrote about headphones when I worked for headroom in in ad copy and product copy and 
uh, and now I'm writing about headphones as a, a journalist and um, you know I have other interests and uh, I, sometimes it feels like writing poetry about tractors you know headphones 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 yeah I like headphones but you know at some point it just becomes a grind and so I'm kind of burned out I want to I want to write, but I, I want to write something else entirely. And so um, that's another reason for getting out on the road and getting out in the woods and, you know, being on my own and being able to do some writing that I have an interest in. So that's, that's another reason. Uh, another reason is I, I play the ukulele very poorly. Um, I've, I've been playing ukulele for quite a while, but uh, I know how much work it takes to, to do that well. And in the past, I just haven't had the, um, the time to dedicate to it that would make me feel good about it. And so I just never dedicated any time to it, really. And um, that's something that my heart wants to do. I want to play music with other people around a campfire. And um, so that's another reason to get out there and, and sit down in a around a campfire and practice ukulele. So that's that's important to me and it's time to go do that. Um, another reason to retire is, you know, I've been at this game for a long time. I, uh, a lot of people say I was the, 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 the godfather or the grandfather of the enthusiast community and, and headphone the headphone hobby and there's there's a truth to that i you know when i started headroom there weren't headphone amplifiers around to speak of the malos sha1 and the Stax uh, electrostatic headphone amplifiers but uh, when i started headroom we made the first portable headphone amplifier the first usb headphone amplifier the first balanced headphone amplifier the first home transistor headphone amplifier um uh you know I did, and, and then in terms of uh, the the enthusiast community, I was early in on the the forums. I participated with contests and things like that. I advertised on HeadFi when it started. Um, I I went to meets. I went to a lot of meets as a vendor um, uh, and helped defray the cost of those meets. Um, you know, I I I've been in this this game for a long time and um, I, and now at Interfidelity I have a, a pretty strong influence on headphone manufacturers so I, I you know I think I've done a lot um, for this community to grow and and for the the uh, headphones to get better sounding over time and, and been an influence there so um, but bottom line is that those things are going very well now uh, people Enthusiasts are even measuring their own headphones now, and um, manufacturers are making better sounding headphones than they ever have before. Uh, so, um, in a way, my my in direct influence is um, less important now, just because things are moving along and have momentum. Um, there, there, when I first started in headphones, there was no momentum because there was almost nothing there in, in terms of uh, headphones as a hobby. So um, I've had an arc in my career and it's a good one. And uh, I, I feel like I've done what needed to be done. And uh, my parents are in show business. They were ballet dancers. My mom danced for the Metropolitan Opera and my dad danced for American Ballet Theater. And um, I grew up in show business. And there's an old saying that uh, you should go out on top. And so I'm 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 not going to sit here and wither away and become less important and have my ears start going out and be less reliable and blah blah blah. It's, it's time to call it quits while the arc of my career is solid, and so uh, that's it. Um, it also turns out that uh, if, you know financially speaking. Uh, selling my house, getting rid of the mortgage, taking my, my savings and the house proceeds and uh, putting it into Putt. The Putt is the name of my uh, step van that I will be living in. Um, 
it's it's inexpensive uh, because they don't have a mortgage and so um, just financially it just makes sense to do it it's time to do it there's no reason to keep putting money into the house and stuff I have what I need to be able to retire and and um, you know 2022 when I turned 66 and could get full Social Security retirements just seems like forever away it's it's time to get it done um, you know I'm I'm an adventurer by nature you may have seen some of my reviews I did of boom boxes while I was on motorcycle adventure tours with uh, my buddy Paul and um, I've got this wanderlust I've had it for a long time and with this job it's very hard to take time off and go into the woods and you know enjoy that kind of thing it's very very hard to to take time off and so I'm ready for that I'm ready for playtime and I want to do it while I'm still young enough to do it believe me by the time you get to be 62 which is where I'm at right now there are a lot of aches and pains and it's not going to get particularly better although I help I hope to be more healthy when I'm on the road a lot it, evidently that's a common experience for people so um, so I'll cross my fingers on that but uh, I'm just ready to go I, I have a mission in terms of an adventure um, I guess if you want to put it on paper it would be to find every beach taco stand from Tijuana to Tierra del Fuego um, and yes I do eventually plan to put putt on a boat and uh, take it to South America but it'll be a while before that happens uh, so there's a couple of comments in order that I should make now since this is my last uh, video um, I first want to thank Interfidelity readers and YouTube channel viewers um, I so appreciate your willingness and your interest in the things that I have to say um, you know I didn't go into this thing to become a leader or or some sort of uh, person to look up to or, or something like that I, I went into this simply to get do what I could to get headphones to sound better and um, and I, I, I think I've managed to do that uh, and I've rose to this position of being a voice of authority that people listen to um, on that basis. But uh, what's important is that um, I, I didn't do it for myself or to be become a leader. The, 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 the important thing is, is that it, it wouldn't have worked, what I did wouldn't have worked if it weren't for the fact that other people were likewise interested. And, and I think that that's the 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 point here is that I, I'm a headphone enthusiast first last and always and I, I had the opportunity to, to simply explore that at a level most people wouldn't be able to do um, to, to produce measurements and to to review headphones critically and and all sorts of things and and that wouldn't have happened without you uh, being interested in, in listening and so thank you so much for your interest I am very grateful to have been in a position and have whatever skills are necessary to be of interest and and but that doesn't work without people who are also likewise interested so thank you so much for for being there with me on this journey um, that we t took together uh, as headphone enthusiasts I, I you know you gave me a job, you gave me a career, and I appreciate that greatly. Um, I also want to thank uh, readers and, and YouTube viewers who were uh, who commented. In, in your comments, you directly have uh, increased the value of inner fidelity and um, I, you know, I, I, a, a lot of times you, you may have noticed that on Interfidelity's comment section in, after an article, I, I didn't write a lot of comments. I felt very much that I had, a, uh, I had my say at the top and, and readers, uh, deserve to have their say with a lot, without a lot of back talk from me. And so, um, if you look at the comment sections on the Interfidelity articles, they they are very dense with, uh, meaning and, 
um, they you guys brought a lot to the table in your comments over time. So I, I very much appreciate that, and and thank you so much for contributing in that way. Speaking of contributors, there are people on the masthead. Uh, uh, Bob Katz, John Granberg, Joker, Steve Gutenberg, Nate Maher, Tyler Schrank, Denny Fitzpatrick, Son Sabino. There's, there's just, I, I, I probably missed a few that um, a, a lot of other people brought their their thoughts to the table, and it's and and uh, for you guys, I want to thank you. It's been terrific um, uh, receiving your contributions. Um, uh, it's it's always a joy to read what. Bob Katz, furious little mind is coming up with next, and John Granberg always struck me as, you know, just a very competent, straight down the middle reviewer. And I mean, there's just been lots of interesting content, uh, the DIY stuff that that Nate brought in earlier on. Um, I, I will mention what I th what I have always felt was my favorite article on uh, inner fidelity, which was a Steve Gutenberg, Gutenberg article about uh, John Lennon's jukebox, which is a, a portable suitcase sized uh, jukebox that John Lennon used to carry around on tour, um, and that he studied the music on this jukebox there's actually a documentary if you go to inner fidelity which is linked below the video here the article on my my retirement there's a link there and you can actually um go view this documentary um and it's a, it's a fascinating documentary on how portable audio can be a uh a, an, an important presence in somebody's life John Lennon in this case, and so you can't you can't, you can't imagine a more um, uh, important person to ha to receive the benefits of a personal audio system uh, in his work. So I, I always thought that was a great contribution. So there's some really lovely things that that people have written for Inner Fidelity, and thank you for all those contributions. Uh, my message to manufacturers. <clears throat> so. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to call this a thank you, although you do warrant a thank you. I have to tell you the past 15 years or whatever it is, or 10 years since the introduction of the Beats, uh, Monster Beats by Dre headphones, it was like a cannon shot that started a race that nobody knew they were in. And uh, you headphone manufacturers had to, had to survive the celebrity headphone rage for a while and and in the end still produce better headphones and you have done that and so i want to thank you guys you manufacturers for steering us through this swamp of bedazzled celebrities with headphones around their necks uh and brought us back to a place where sound quality comfort build quality and simple styling are really the important factors you know functionality um so thank you for that <clears throat> but it is your job it's your job to make headphones and we pay you for that job and we pay you for a headphone that performs both in style and comfort and those kinds of things and in sound quality it's it's important and and i know that there are research studies that show that people say they buy headphones because of sound quality, but the truth is, is that they don't. They buy headphones because of the way they look and the way they, the way they feel, the comfort when they're on. Most people don't really know what good audio sounds like, and so you could simply not worry about that and still get just as many sales, pretty much. Um, so I want to encourage you to stick with that because. Over time, more and more people will be exposed to good sound quality one way or another. And, and over time, more and more people will understand what good sound sounds like. And uh, I, I, I hope you're encouraged to be there um, with quality products in that regard. So, um, yeah, keep after it. And... Keep the prices reasonable, for God's sakes, okay? Come on, enough with these ridiculous prices on headphones. Let's try to keep the price down. Uh, 
And and lastly, what the and now the the um, the next Interfidelity editor? Well, he, uh, he has been chosen. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Um, I was uh, surprised and pleased by the choice. Uh, he is not from the headphone community, but he does have lots of audio experience and um, lots of journalistic experience. And uh, I did have a nice long conversation on the phone with him. I think he understood what Interfidelity was about. I think he understands that it's going to be a challenge for him to uh, bring content to the site that is going to be valuable to users, but it's not me. Um, I hope you readers will understand that. You know, there, there's only one room for one dude that started it all. And that's me, for better or worse. Um, and he's not that. And, and nobody could be that. And so um, he's a bright guy, though. And I, I, I think he can bring things to the table that are useful for the community. And um, I would ask you to give him the space to do that and not have unrealistic expectations of the next person. Um, but I think you can expect good things, and I, I think he'll deliver on that. So, but that's for him to figure out, not me anymore. Uh, and so the big question, um, so <laughs> uh, the wall of fame is packed up and we'll be going uh, either to the next editor or to wherever he chooses, but um, None of the headphones I had around here were my headphones, so I am currently left with just a couple of rejects of things that just happen to be lying around um, because they're all packed up and ready to go someplace else. So currently I don't have a pair of headphones that I like. I am currently um, sort of in the market for buying the headphones that uh, I'm going to take with me, and uh, when I... Um, packed up all the boxes ago oh what do I miss what what are the headphones that I need to get right away so I can live life and uh, so this is like the ultimate review of all which headphones does tile walk away with you know this which headphones does he buy for himself at the end of all this uh, and the answer is I'm gonna buy a pair of Bose quiet comfort 35 wireless headphones putt is very loud when you drive in it and uh, yeah, I need noise canceling headphones in order to be able to not get hearing damage driving around in it. And so I'm definitely getting a pair of Bose Quiet Comfort 35s. I have a pair of noise canceling headphones, different, different brand, not, not a recommended headphone. And it just doesn't work as good. It's not as comfortable, all sorts of reasons. I go, God, I want those Quiet Comfort 35s again. Uh, the other headphone is uh, the Beats Solo 3 wireless. Um, again, it's, it's a, a matter of convenience. They're well-built headphones. They're super convenient to get on and off. Uh, the, uh, they work great as a, a telephone headset. And, and the main thing is the Bluetooth range is just phenomenal. So I can leave my phone sitting someplace and we'll go anywhere in the house and it's it's going to get range and the same is going to be true out in putt. I can leave my cell phone inside the vehicle and I can walk outside or move around. I can still hear the music or news or whatever it is I'm listening to. But, you know, it's just the practical matter of it's it's an extremely functional headphone and it sounds good. It sounds good. There's nothing. I mean, it's it's, it's not a thousand dollar pair of headphones, but it sounds good. So that's the other one. A high-end rig, uh, high-end headphones, you know, so I'm really not uh, going to have a high-end system with me. Uh, I'm solar powered, so I really can't afford the, the power budget for a high-end rig and amplifier and so on and so forth. Uh, I will be taking my uh, Astell & Kern AK240 and a Centrins M8 Mate. Uh, headphone amp and I've got a pair of uh, Mr. Speaker's Aeon Flow open and Aeon Flow closed that are mine um, that I'm going to be taking with me. So that's those. That's my high-end rig and I think I'm going to be perfectly content with that. I've, I've heard plenty of headphones. <laughs> 
I want to hear the ukulele plinking on my lap. Um, okay, well, that's it for me. Feel free to wave me by in the comments below. I certainly look forward to reading your comments and one last connection with old friends. And uh, sometime down the road, I suspect that I'll keep my eye on HeadFi and drop in on a headphone meet or two just for fun. Uh, I think that would be pretty funny to show up at a meet in Seattle or Dallas or who knows. But um, I think that'd be kind of fun. So I'll be around a little bit. Um, of course, I'll be around watching what happens to Inner Fidelity from time to time. Uh, but I'm going to miss you guys. I, I really enjoyed this career I had. I, I really enjoyed the quirkiness of headphone geeks and the imaginativeness. And really, it's a, a very, um, for the most part, self-effacing um, group of lovely people. I've, I've really enjoyed um, my time with all you guys. Uh, so, all the best. Happy trails. Enjoy the music. Sorry about your wallet. <laughs> and we'll see you down the road somewhere. I'm out.